This is looking so cool. I love growing plants like this. Me too, it makes me feel so energized. Good morning, Southwest Elementary School. It's a great day for learning at SWE. Our project here is a lot like the theme we've been focusing on in our morning shows this week, building healthy habits. Keeping our minds and bodies learning and growing in lots of different ways. One of the first healthy habits we can build in a day is safe travels as we come to school. Let's hear from Michael. He's on location with some cool motivation. Time to go. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Let's hit hop to, to the, the bus, bus stop. stop. With extra care, we're getting there. Gonna be safe on our way to the, the bus, bus stop. stop. The bus stop. stop. Be, be aware. Have your head on a swivel, put your phone away. You, use the sidewalk and crosswalk when you cross. Don't play. S, stay back on the road. Be visible and follow the signal. When it's time to go to, to the, the bus stop. stop. The, the bus, bus stop. I don't even ride the bus, but this advice is great for all of us when we're around traffic. Another important healthy habit is having a hobby that gives you something exciting to learn. Our fourth and fifth grade Alpha students have joined Growing Plants ever since they joined the Alpha program. This year, their love for learning about plants took a strange turn. All carnivorous plants lure insects into their trap. Then they slowly digest their prey. Because carnivorous plants grow in nutrient-poor soil, they consume prey for additional nutrients. Carnivorous plants use a strong, musky scent to attract insects. And once the insects get close enough, they snap. Did you know that when an insect crawls into a Venus flytrap, it snaps and closes in less than one second? If you're interested in learning more about plants, you won't want to miss out a huge event happening in downtown Lakeland this weekend. Edge and Liam have all the details about this growing event. We need more plants. I know where to get some. The 21st Annual Spring Obsession Garden Art Event. This Lakeland event, hosted by Rotary Club, happens Saturday, March 9th. At Munn Park at downtown Lakeland from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's free and has activities for the whole family. Activities like flower display, plants for sale, and garden art, as well as kids' activities and local food vendors. Southwest Elementary and Southwest Middle have both been positively impacted by the Rotary Club's support this school year. We hope to see you at this awesome event. I'm off to Spring Obsession March night to buy new plants. Come on! I am definitely going to that. I need new plants to take care of. Another healthy habit that we have to develop is taking care of our devices so that when we are ready to learn, they are ready too. Here are a few important tips to keep your device healthy and ready to work. It is important to take good care of your iPad so that it's healthy and ready to work. Keep it clean. Keep it safe. Keep it cool. And keep it running. Keep it clean. Keep your iPad away from food and drinks. If your screen is dirty, clean it with an alcohol wipe or a soft microfiber cloth. Keep it safe. Be sure your whole iPad is on the table so that it won't fall. And put your iPad in the case when you are not using it. Keep it cool. Do not leave your iPad out in the sun or in a hot car. Keep it running. Close windows not in use by double tapping the home key and swiping up to close them. If your iPad is running slow or the keyboard isn't working, hold the power button at the side of your iPad until it says right to power off and wait at least two minutes. Then turn it back on. Follow these tips to keep your iPad ready for school. Remember, keep it clean, keep it safe, keep it cool, and keep it running. Those are great tips to help us keep our iPads in top condition. That way, we can be ready for anything like taking AR tests. Taking AR tests has a fun dress award this nine weeks. Let's hear from Natalie and Gwen with all the details. Yes. What? I haven't taken AR tests for three weeks because there's no point. You do know that there's a new reward for AR every nine weeks, right? If you earn 85% or higher on your AR quizzes and meet the point goal that your teacher sets for you each nine weeks, you can earn a crazy hat day. I can even give you some tips on how to reach your goal. Always read your book at least three times before taking an AR quiz. When taking a quiz, check back in the text to check your answer so that you're sure to score 100%. Looks like I have to go shopping at Target for a new crazy hat. I'm not sure which crazy hat I'm going to wear yet, but I've almost reached my goal. So I need to keep reading so that I can participate. Speaking of reading, Austin and Leslie found a great book that ties in with their focus on healthy habits. Hello, Spurs. My name is Austin, and this is Leslie. We are supposed to be reading Beyond the Screen Lima Beans, but Leslie is on her device. 
It's easy to get enticed by apps and games and likes. Maybe playing with a filter has made your life off kilter. You can lose track of days and nights, mesmerized by all the lights. It can make you feel alone just staring at your phone. You can learn a lot from devices, but I didn't know they could be so bad. Yes, Leslie, we really learned something today. It can cause problems such as headaches or even eye strain. It can also affect the way you sleep. Finding balance between your electronic devices and other activities is so important. So I dug a little deeper and did some further research on Polk County students' digital device use. Let's hear from her next. Everyone needs to hear what she discovered. Part of building healthy habits is finding a balance between your use of technology and other activities. The right amount of tech time each day will be different for everyone, but we should all make a plan to choose other activities too. I try to match the amount of time I spend on my device with something not technology-based. It's all about balance. What will you switch out? I play guitar bass. I like playing volleyball in my free time. What I like to do at home is build Lego figures like the Thor Hammer. I play soccer. Staying active is such a big part of building healthy habits. And to keep your energy when you're being active takes fuel. My favorite fuel when I'm hungry is pizza. Welcome back to Cash's Cooking Show. Today I have six awesome pizza experts to demonstrate how to cook the perfect pizza. A perfect pizza has delicious hand-tossed crust, rich hearty tomato sauce, piles of cream mozzarella, and tons of perfect pepperoni. Ew. Oh no. Yuck. Skip the mess, order Jets. Our school spirit night at Jets is coming up soon. If your family orders pizza and says they are from Southwest, Jets gives us 25% of the proceeds. Here's our date for the next Jets spirit night. Take it from me, I'm a real pizza expert. Don't let this happen. Skip the mess, order Jets. Okay everyone, I think we've given you lots of good ideas on how to build healthy habits. It's time to get focused on learning and start our school day. Let's work hard, do our best, and remember the rope. Acuérdate de ser gigantes en nuestro potencial cada día. That means reach a potential every day.